In the last episode, we talked about loops inside JavaScript. And because we now know about loops, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about the different statements we can use inside a loop. So what I'm talking about is that right now inside JavaScript, we have a statement called break and one called continue. So if I were to go ahead and run a loop, like the one I have inside my screen here, this is just a very basic for loop that goes ahead and prints out numbers inside the browser each time it loops through the numbers. So right now inside the browser, we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, if I were to go ahead and use a break statement inside this loop, it's going to go ahead and say that, well, let's actually go ahead and say that one specific statement is going to be true. Once we loop through one of these loops, then it's going to go ahead and break and stop looping through the rest of the loop. So right now, if I were to go inside this for loop and say we have an if statement, just to demonstrate what exactly a break actually does, and say that i right now is equal to 4, then inside the curly brackets, we're going to go ahead and say is to go ahead and break the loop. So we say break semicolon. Now, what this basically does is that when it starts looping and we get to the number 4, it's going to go ahead and check, well, oops, i is equal to 4, therefore, I should break the loop. And therefore, it's not going to continue the loop once we hit a specific point. So if I go inside my browser, refresh, you guys can see that the loop stops after the fourth loop. Because right now, we told it to break, it's not going to continue looping. Now, if I were to go back inside my code and say, well, instead of breaking, when we hit number four inside i, when i is equal to four, let's actually go ahead and write continue. Now, what this basically does is kind of the same thing as break, but instead of stopping the entire loop after i is equal to four, it's just going to go ahead and skip past the loop where i is equal to four. And then it's going to continue looping through the rest of the loop. So right now, if I were to save this, refresh the browser, you guys can see that we get 0, 1, 2, 3, but 4 is missing. Then we get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are two different statements we can use inside loops, whether it being a for loop, a for in loop, a while loop, or do while loop. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.